Assalamu alaikum my friends welcome to my channel learn Arabic with Shazia this is lesson number 10 from Medina book 1 and before I start with this lesson let me tell you in this lesson what you are going to learn firstly you will learn a new thing in this lesson that is the nisba nisba in English is called the relative noun and I'll explain this later and another thing that you will learn in this lesson is the usage of li and in the how and when you use li and when you use in the and learning about the four dhamirs uh, four dhamirs with object and using li and laka lahu laha the harp jar lam or li with uh, the dhamirs actually attaching it with the dhamirs and Harf jar ma. So in this lesson, you are going to learn two harf jars, li and ma, and rules of asmaul khamsa. This is really very important. The nisba, the uh, asmaul khamsa, and the rules for Arabic names, as I've already explained this in previous lessons. But we will go through it again. And there are some rare Arabic names with tamar buta. It seems feminine, but it's not. So some Arabic male names may have tamar buta at the end before i start this lesson let me go to my uh, whiteboard where i have prepared the rules for nisba so let's see here the al nisba sorry the it's a typing mistake it should be a single haraka here nisba too what is nisba it is uh, usually an adjective as you use an adjective for a noun nisba is also acts as an adjective but it is known in english as you can call it as relative noun relative noun it is usually an adjective that is used to attribute to a person's place of origin affiliation or ancestry and uh, for example uh, what are the rules for nisba first we will do the rules for nisba it usually follows all the rules of adjective that's why i was calling it as an adjective it is it works like an adjective actually uh, but you cannot call it as an adjective uh, because it has some rules in its structure so that's where it differs from adjective adjective nouns are nouns that follows in four things gender number definiteness and case but here uh, nisba does follow all the rules of adjectives but it has a different structure for the nouns we will do that and it has an additional rule of adding a letter that's what i was talking about that is the ya with shadda you will see a ya with a shadda for male and ya with a shadda and a tamar buta added in case of female. For example, I've given some examples here. For example, al hindi. A, a normal a noun will be al hind. Al hind. Right? Al hindu. Now, when you want to make it a nisba or a relative noun, if you want to say that he is an Indian. How will you say? Will you say Hoa Al Hindu? No, because Hind is the name of a country. From this noun, we will make a relative noun or a nisba showing that this person is connected to this particular country or place of origin or his affiliation or his ancestry. So you will add a ya with a shadda. So your answer will be Al hin diyu al hin diyu ya with a shadda so whenever you come across the nouns with ya with shadda know that it's a nisba or a relative noun so in this case it's for male now this is for feminine hin diyatu you can see the ya with a shadda and a tamar buta added to show the femininity. For example, if you want to say school's book, 
schools book so in this case uh, one may see okay it is an idafa you will say kitab al madrasati right kitab kitabu al madrasati but it's totally wrong why because it's not idafa it book of the school no you are showing the uh, affiliation of the book it is the school's book so al kitabu al madrasi knowing that this is male i will make it as it is uh, as it, this nisba follows the rules of adjective you cannot make it into idafa so al and al it's male this is also male this is singular this is also singular the only difference is the u the ya with shadda so this is how the nisba works for in, it was a male now now it coming with the female now al haqibatu al madrasiyatu this means schools bag the bag belongs to the school the belongingness when you say this chair belongs to the school or this desk belongs to the school you will say al maktabu al madrasiyu al kursi al madrasiyu means school's chair or school's desk or school's table al haqibatu al madrasiyatu why because if this is feminine you have to make this also into feminine with the ya shadda and tamuda so this is all the rule about the nisba so this is the rule for nisba you can see this is the all and nothing much uh, nothing more in this nisba know that it's uh, in english you can say relative noun the rules are attaching ya with shadda in case of feminine atamarbuta is attached and it comes to show the affiliation or the belongingness or the origin or the ancestry just that now let's go to another rule of asmaul khamsa before i go and do the lesson i would like to um, explain the lessons of asmaul uh, the rules of asmaul khamsa what are they asmaul khamsa what are they they are the five special nouns five special nouns why they are special because they have their own rules that's why they are special for nisba it had the, it has the, its own rule likewise this noun also has their own rule in english uh, in um, uh, arabic you call it asmaul khamsa what are they they are five, five nouns that have special rule to conjugate now conjugate means uh, what are those nouns first let me tell you those nouns are akh brother ab father ham is uh, the in laws in laws fam is mouth dhu means has has and when it's a uh, uh, wow know that it's for me now this is an extra information but i'll just uh, go through quickly dhu is for male and that comes for female okay but uh, these are all from the asmaul khamsa so uh, i'll just uh, do this quickly this is for female and male and we will be doing the conjugation for dhu and uh, akh ab ham and fam and dhu these are five nouns that we'll be dealing with and what are the rules let's see what are the rules for asmaul khamsa they are conjugated with the letters and what uh, what letters are they wow alif and ya wow represents the dhamma alif represents the fatha ya represents the kasra in marfu mansub and majrur case respectively and what uh, changes comes when you uh, conjugate with alif in marfu sorry in marfu with a wow the ab the structure ab comes as abu ba with fatha 
and a waw. And mansub ba with fat, sorry, ba with damma and waw. And mansub ba with fatha and alif. Majroor ba with kasra and ya. So this is how you will conjugate in these three positions. And when will you do this? There is another important point. When these noun comes singular, means not an idafa construction, you will use this noun as akh, ab, ham, and you will put a tanin. But when they are in idafa, then only you are going to put wow, alif, and ya. For example, ja'a abu muhammadin. Now, this is an a jumla failure. Fail. And file, you know, file is always in marfu, so ab is in marfu case. So here you will conjugate with wow and dhamma only and only when they are in idafa construction, then only you will conjugate them with letters, with letters only in only idafa construction, not when they are coming alone. And uh, for example, in Mansub, Ra'aytu Aba Muhammadin. Sallamtu ala Abi Muhammadin. Now, if these nouns are normally used in a sentence without idafa, then they will be conjugated with clear haraka. Ja'a Abu. Ra'aytu Aba. Sallamtu ala Abi. It's the clear, very clear. Same with ab, uh, akh, ab, ham, fam, and du. Same with all the nouns. So these are all the nouns for us. Uh, I mean rules for asmaul khamsa. Very easy and very short. So let's check other things. If I have completed all the rules here, yes. Alhamdulillah, I have completed all the rules here. For Nisba and for Asma'ul Khamsa. Now let's go back to the lesson. So now we come to the lesson. After doing the, all the rules for Nisba and Asma'ul Khamsa. Hamid Man Anta means who are you? Man who? Anta who are you? Uh, Muhammad says, Ana talibun bil jamiati. So this is a jumla, ismiya. Ana is mubtada. Talibun is khabar. As you can see, it's nakira. So mubtada khabar. B is harfjar. Harfjar. And due to this harfjar, what is happening? Jamiati is getting a kasra. So bil jamiati is a uh, structure with harfjar when you use. It, and it means not with university if you will translate you will say I am a student from uh, the, in the university and um, Bil Jamiati means you are still continuing to be the student of the that particular university so that's why Bil Jamiati shows your uh, belongingness to the um, university so Hamid says, a anta. Now this is the interrogative questioning tool. A anta talibun jadidun. And this is uh, mubtada and this is khabar and this is adjective sifa. Are you a new student? And when you translate, you will say, are you? Means you are interrogating. Are you a? Why? Because nakira. New student. Muhammad says, Naam. Now, when you are interrogating, either your answer will be in positive or negative. So, you will answer with Naam, positive, and La for negative. So, Muhammad says, Naam, Ana, Muqtada, Talibun, Jadidun. So, this is Khabar and Sifa. Muhammad says, Min Aina. Now here you can see a new structure of questioning tool when Aina comes with harf jar min. When this comes, the questioning tool is from where? If you will translate it as from where? From where are you? Min Aina Anta. So this too becomes a questioning tool. 
Muhammad says, Ana min al Hind. As you know, the country name is coming with Lama Tarif, so it can take a Kasra. Ana min al Hind. I am from India. Muhammad says, Masmuka. Now, since this is a Hamzatul Wasal and it is known for connecting the sound, so you should not pronounce as Ma Ismuka. You should go directly to Mas. And you will drop this Hamza Tulbasal. It's cancelled. And directly, this Elif is also cancelled. And you will directly go from Meem to Seen Sukun. Mas Muka. This is how you will pronounce. So let's see what is your name. Mas Muka means what is your name. And uh, here, Ma is your questioning tool. Ismu is name. What is ka is the damir means your your name. What is your name? And you know that the damir is attached after the noun. Muhammad says ismi. This is the noun attached with ya mutakallim damir. Ismi my name. My name is Muhammadun. So this is my Muqtada and this is my Khabar. And one may ask, there is no Al here. As you know, whenever a noun is attached with a Damir, it becomes Marifa. So that's why there is no Al here and Muqtada is always Marifa. So this Ismi is Already a marifa noun. So muqtada and khabar. Hamid says, Wa man hadhal fata? Man hadhal fata is one compound word. What is fata? Now this noun may look like a feminine noun, but it means a young boy. Young boy. Why I told you that it may look like a feminine noun? Because it has a alif mahsura. It is a sign of femininity. There are very rare nouns in Arabic which has a sign of uh, femininity in male nouns. So it's an exception here. Young boy. Man has al fata. Who is this young boy who is with you? al is ismausul. Ismausul relative pronouns they are called relative pronouns and it means when they are used for humans you will translate it as as who when it is used for ghairaqil objects you will uh, translate it as which so now we are talking about a human so you will translate it as waman hazal fata who is this young boy who is ma'ak means with you. Ma is another harfja. And this is damir attached with damir ma'ak. So when you are pronouncing and reading, you will stop as ma'ak. You will not say as ma'aka. Uh, Muhammad says, Huwa zamili muqtada khabar. Now this is with the ya mutakallim. Uh, Huwa zamili. Means he is my friend. Hamid says, Ahuwa interrogative questioning. Ahuwa aidan. Aidan is mabni. Structure is mabni. It means also. Is he also minal hind? Means uh, Hamid is asking, is he also from hind? So Muhammad says, la. Now this, uh, this time he the answer is in negation. لا هو من الياباني هو مبتدا من اليابان is خبر what type of خبر we have شبه جملة with حرف جر هو من الياباني since it has لام التاريف it can take a كسرة يابان means Japan حامد مسموه now similarly you will go straight to scene Cancelling the Hamza Tulwasal and the Alif Masmuhu. What is his name? His. The Damir. 
Muhammad says, Ismuhu. In this case, we have Mubtada Hamza to Khabar. Hamza is the name of a male with Tamarbuta. As I told you, there are uh, very less names in Arabic. Male names which has a Tamarbuta at the end. The name is for male, not feminine. Now, let's go to the next part. Uh, Hamid says, Ma lughatuka ya Muhammad. Ma lughatuka ya Muhammad means, What is your lugha? Is a feminine noun. Lugha is a feminine noun. It's attached with the damir. So ma lughatuka. When you attach the damir with this, the ta marbuta opens and it becomes a full ta. And then you attach the damir. So ma lughatuka. And that means what is your language? Ya Muhammad means what language do you speak? So Muhammad says, since he's from India, so he speaks Urdu. So what do you call Urdu in Arabic? Lughati. Now Lugha means language. When Lugha is attached with Damir uh, ya Mutakallim, Lugha Tamarbuta. So it is. It was basic. Originally, it was with the Why it is changed with kasra? Because it has been attached with ya mutakallim. This ya is forcing the ta to take a kasra. And in Arab, you will say loha is in marfu tadiruhu dhamma. Why? Because of the ya, it has been forced to take a kasra. But originally, it has a dhamma over the ta. So, Lohati, my language is, this is Muptada and this is Khabar. So, Urdiyati, Urdiyati means Urdu language. Urdiyatu, Marfu case. Ahiya, interrogative questioning. Ahiya, why hiya is taken here? Because Loha is feminine noun. Ahiya lughatun sahlatun means he's asking, is this language easy? So the answer is in affirmative. Naam, hiya lughatun muqtada and khabar and sifa. Hiya lughatun sahlatun. Now Hamid says, wa hamzatu. Now, uh, what are the rules for... Arabic names, uh, I told you in my previous videos that all the Arabic names have a Dhammatain, they carry a Tanwin. But why is this name carrying a single Haraka? Because it falls under the category of Mamnu Minasar, means they cannot have Tanwin or they cannot have a Kasra. Only they can show Dhamma, single Dhamma and single Fatha. A single Dhamma in Marfu case, single Fatha in Mansub and Majroor case. Why is it so? Because they fall under the names of Ajami. That means foreign names. They are not Arabic. They are foreign names. So that's why they have a single Haraka over it. So Hamid says, Wahamzatu Malugatuhu. What is his language? Who means his? You are asking about a third person. So Muhammad says, Lughatuhu, his language is Al Yabaniyatu. Now, this Yabaniyatu is a nisba. How do you know that? Because Yawit Shadda has come. And this is feminine. Why feminine is come? Because Loha is a feminine noun. So this is showing its affiliation or the origin. Wahiya, Lughatun. Sa'abatun means it's a difficult language. This is Muqtada, Khabar, and Sifa. al al-Yabaniyatu. They have given you an example of Lughatu al-Yabaniyatu. Hamad says, Aina Abuka, where is your father now? This uh, is in Idafa construction. How? If one may ask why and how is it in Idafa construction, this Abu is from Asma'ul Khamsa. When a noun is attached with Damir. Know that 
the this forms an idafa. The noun becomes mudaf and the damir becomes mudaf ilahi. So the noun here is abu. It's an idafa construction. So it has been conjugated with a wow here. Why is it conjugated with a wow here? Because this is from the asma ul khamsa. Right? And ya Muhammad, where is your father ya Muhammad? Muhammad says abi fil kuwait, my father. Now this ab is from asma ul khamsa. It has come with damir. So it's an idafa and it's in majroor case. Ya mutakal. Um, it's um, actually with Damir, it's not in Majroor case. This Ya is forcing the Ba to take a Kasra, similarly, like here, Logati, and it's in Marfu case. And this is our Muptada. Muptada is always in Marfu case. Okay, this Ba is with the Ya Mutakallim. And this ya is forcing the ba to take a kasra. But originally it has a dhamma. Why? Because it's in the position. And the haraka will be as, as uh, assumed. And abi fil kuwaiti. A khabar is in shibu jumla. And this is our khabar. Muptada and khabar. Huwa tabibun muptada khabar. And Sifa, Tabibun Shahirun. Shahir means famous. He is a famous doctor. Hamid says, Wa aina ummuka? Where is your mother? And similarly, you can see the structure is in Idafa. Ummu, uh, this is a normal noun. It's not from a, a, a small khamsa and attached with Damir. So this is mudaf and this is mudafilai. The damir falls in mudafilai position, majroor position. So the Muhammad says, Hiya aidan also fil kuwaiti. He, she is also um, in Kuwait. In this case, our muptada is here. And fil kuwait is our khabar. This is an extra coming in between. So it doesn't have any Arab. This is mabuni. She is also in Kuwait, ma harf jar, and due to this harf jar, ab. Now this is in majroor position. Why? Because of the harf jar, the uh, ab is in majroor position. And not like here, abi. This is originally was in marfu, but due to this yamutakalim, the ba is having a kasra here. So here, due to harf jar, it is having a kasra already. So ma abi. This is in majroor position. That's why it has been conjugated with a ya. Ma abi. This does not mean uh, my father. Uh, it's in majroor position with a uh, ba with. Yes, sorry. I'm so sorry. This is with ya mutakalli. I'm so sorry about that. With a ya mutakallim. Why? Because this is showing my father. She is also in Kuwait with my father. So this is ya mutakallim. But this ab is having a kasra due to harf jar. Not due to this ya mutakallim. That's what I wanted to explain. Hiya mudarrisatun. This is muptada. And this is khabar. Hunak. This is the... Uh, اسم الإشارة للبعيد هناك. Now Hamid says, أذهبت. Now this is a questioning tool, interrogative. أذهبت. Fail. And ta is the mere file. And إلى الكويت حرف جر. And اسم مجرور. Because it's coming after حرف جر. Having a kasra due to حرف جر. يا محمدو. Because of harf nida, only single haraka. So, uh, he is asking, uh, are you going to Kuwait? Means your mother and father is in Kuwait. So, you are also going to Kuwait. He is interrogating. So, Muhammad says, an affirmative now, zahatu. I will go or I, I went. Uh, means he is talking in the past. 
zahabtu, I went. So Hamid says, wa zamilu, zamiluka, and your friend, aina abuhu, where is his father? Here, it's in marfu case, and this is in idafa, mudaf, ilhim. Muhammad says, abuhu fil yaban. This is our mubtada, the whole structure is in mubtada. Fil yaban is our khabar. Shibu Jumla and with Harf Jar. Hoa Mubtada Tajirul Khabar and Sifa Kabirun. He is a big trader. Now Hamid says a laka. Now we will use this uh, laka uh, Harf Jar Lam with the Mir. Now, this is a questioning tool with interrogative questioning, questioning tool, laka. Now, this lam is actually, originally, is the harf jarli. Now, when they are added with ka, ki, kuma, uh, kum, or kuma, these type of uh, damirs, then the kasra is changed to fatha. Laka, laki, lakum, lak, lakuma, lak, uh, lakunna. So that's why it's the same harf jar li. But since it's attached with these type of uh, damirs, so the haraka is changed to fatha. A laka akhum. Since the asmaul khamsa is used separately, not in idafa, so it has come in its original form. So what is the question actually? A laka. Laka means for you. You will translate as for you? No. You will translate as do you have a brother? Okay. Do you have a brother? And Arabic you cannot say uh, uh, you, you should say a laka. Akhun, do you have a brother? And translate as do you have a brother? Ya Muhammad, so he says, Naam, Li, I have. You cannot translate it as for me. You will translate it as I have a brother, one brother, Akhun Wahidun, and this is coming as Shibu Jumla. Khabar Muqaddam and Mubtada Muakhar. In this case, uh, when uh, what is the rule when Mubtada is late? I will explain it later, but let me finish this sentence. Akhun Wahidun. This is Mubtada Muakhar. Muakhar means late Mubtada and Sifa for Mubtada. Ismuhu Usamatu. And this is comma, so this is another sentence. This is another sentence. So Mubtada. Khabar, Muqtada, Khabar Ma'i, our Khabar is in Harf Jar. Huna fil Madinati, the whole sentence is our Khabar, Madinati al Munawarati. Wa, Li, again the same type of uh, sentence, Shibu Jumla. Uh, khabar Muqaddam means early Khabar, late Muqtada. Tada akhtun wahidatun. Here is akh and here is akh. This is feminine. This is male. Ismuha zainabu. The ismuhu for male. Ismuha for female. Zainab. Wahiya fil iraqi. Mubtada. This whole is our khabar. And Iraqi ma zawjiha. Zawj means husband. Due to harfjar, we have a kasra here. Husband. She is with her husband. Where? In Iraq. Zawjiha. Her husband. Zawjuha. Now this is another uh, sentence after full stop. So this is Muptada. And Zawjuha. Her husband is Muhandisun Khabar engineer so what i was explaining here what type of sentence is this whenever you see a harf jar li or ma any sentence starting with a harf jar 
اور شبو جملہ لائک وت دی ظرف مکان ظرف زمان نو دیٹ دس از خبر کمنگ ارلی دس از کالڈ ارلی خبر اور ان عربک یو سے خبر مقدم مقدم I am writing it in English but you can say as مقدم مقاف دال انیم مقدم means early خبر it's coming early before مبتدا and after that you see اخن right اخن and this is actually صفة واحد we are not concerned with صفة right now why is this coming afterwards مرفو اخن because this is coming as نكيرا whenever مبتدا is نكيرا the structure will be in شبو جملة it is pushed back it is pushed back and خبر proceeds when you see this type of structure know that the mubtada is nakhira that's why the mubtada is coming late so you will call it as mubtada un mubtada un muakharun muakhar means uh, late late mubtada why late because the khabar has been preceded and the mubtada is pushed back after the khabar why what is the reason for pushing mubtada after the khabar because it is nakira because in arabic uh, mubtada can never be a nakira mubtada has to be marifa so whenever a nakira mubtada comes it is pushed back and it is called mubtada muakhar or late mubtada and khabar proceeds and it is known as early khabar or khabar muqaddam so that's what the structure is here li akhun wahidun li akhtun wahidun so let's see Hamid says a indaka sayyaratu a indaka sayyaratun so what is here our sentence structure is questioning tool interrogative عند now this is zarf when zarf is coming know that our mubtada late mubtada is nakira so our khabar is proceeding and our late mubtada is um, um, after the khabar so this is a kind of uh, ship jumla not a kind of it is ship jumla ya أخي أو ماي براذر سو محمد سيز لا ما عندي ناو ناو هير يو ويل نو ذا يوسج اوف عندي ان لكا لكي لها له وين ديد وي يوز لها فور اكزامبل اف اي سي وي يوز لكا لها له اسمه Uh, when did we use when we were talking about a human being so we will use laka but when we talk about uh, an object sayyara we, we will use indi or indak so uh, you cannot say laka or lucky i have a car so you would say uh, li sayyaratun you cannot say li sayyaratun you will say indi sayyara and you will use the zarf inda okay so that is the major difference uh, between using laka and inda so here um, non ghair uh, aqil has come an object has come so we will use inda this is another rule another new point here uh, do you have a car ya akhi So Muhammad says, لا ما عندي سيارة. Now the dal kasra, the fatha of dal is changed to ya to kasra. Fatha of dal has changed to kasra. Why? Because this ya mutakallim is forcing this dal to have a kasra. Because when ya comes, it forces the letter previous to take a kasra. So originally this zarf was with fatha. But due to this yamu takallim, it is taking a kasra. Ma indi, I don't have a car. And indi, I have darajatun, means cycle. 
and this is our uh, late um, um, Mubtada and this is our early khabar. Shibu Jumla. This is also Shibu Jumla. Hamza tu indahu. Now Hamza tu is Mubtada. Indahu sayyaratun. So this is our what type of Jumla we have? Shibu Jumla. This is also uh, our total khabar. Khabar came as in the structure of Shibu Jumla. Okay, so in Tamarin or uh, the exercises, we will see what it is. These are random questions. Ma uh, ismuk, ismu. You you can go back to the lesson and see all the answers. It's really very easy. Ma ismuk min aina ant, and these are random questions you can answer for yourself also. So ma uh, ismu ismi shazia. Uh, man, uh, min ant or anti if you're talking to a uh, male so you can say min aina ant ana min al hind ma logatuka uh, logati urduiyati and uh, logatu urdiyatu i'm sorry aina abuka uh, abi mi, abi uh, uh, abi fil hind and he is in India. Aina ummuki hiya aidan fil Hind. Alaka ahun naam li ahun wahidun. You can say like that. Alaka ucht naam li uchtun wahidatun. That's how you will answer. A indak sayaratun naam indi sayaratun. A in the Rajatun La Ma in the Rajatun A in the Palamun Naam in the Palamun A in the Dafter Dafter means notebook Naam in the Dafterun A Abu Katajirun Naam Abi Now what will you write Abi this is for Damir asking question. Now, when you answer for your father, you will say Naam, Naam, Abi, my father. Uh, this is Yamutakalim, so it's forcing uh, the bar to take a kasra. But originally, it has a thoma. So, Naam, Abi, Tajirun. I mean, Aina Muhammadun, uh, Huwa Min. Any country name you can take or you can go back to the lesson and see what, uh, from where was Muhammad. Ma lugatuhu? Lugatuhu al-yabani. Al-yabani. You can, uh, um, Japanese. When you want to say he his language is Japanese, you will use the nisba. Al-yaban. Yaban. This is the country name. So, how are you going to make the nisba from the country name? Adding the ya with a shadda. Since loha is feminine, we will add another tamar buta. So, al ya ba ni ya tu. Ni ya tu. This is how you make nisba. And you will put an al. Because it works as an adjective, remember? Aina abuhu, abuhu fil. You can uh, you can take any city name fil Misr or fi fil uh, fil uh, Iraq. Aina ummuhu, huwa aidan fil Iraq. You can say like that. Min aina hamzatu, hamzatu min Lubnan. Ma lughatuhu, lughatuhu. Al Arabiyatu, Al Arabiyatu. Likewise, you will make the nisba Al Arabiyatu with the ya and tamar buta. So now we will move forward to the last four questions. Aina Abuhu, where is the father of Hamza? You can take any name. Huwa min Huwa fil Madina tul fil Madina til munawwarati because of the harf jar it will have a kasra. Aina Zainabu, uh, here 
في المدينة المنورة anything you can write أين زوج أين زوجها okay Zainab we the question is particularly about the Zainab that is in the lesson so we will say Zainab هي في العراقي and أين زوجها زوجها أيضا في العراقي زوجها مدرس لا زوجها مهندس so that's how you will answer the questions now in question number two da'a fil fara means you have to da'a means put and it is a command in this blank spaces with the damir who and ha this is for ghaibs third person ha'zihi bintu and now we know that this is with ismal ishara and this is one word so we have our mubtada and we have our khabar ha'zihi bintu Talibatun. Ismu. Now we are talking about feminine. So ismu ha. Zainabu. It is a feminine name. So symbol haraka. Why Zainabu? Why Dhamma? Because Muqtada and Khaba. Muhammadun Tabibun. Wa ibnu. What we are talking about male. Ibnu who ibn his son is. Is there is an is in between, so we have our muqtada, we have our khabar, muhandisun know how to put harakas. Hazar rajulu tajirun sifa kabirun muqtada khabar and sifa ismu. We are talking about rajul ismuhu muqtada abdul lahi. Name is an idafa, so mudaf will be. Because we have our khabar here. Aminatu muqtada fil ghurfati. We have our khabar here. Wa. Now when wa comes, know that after wa is a new sentence. So ummu ha. We are talking about feminine. Ummu ha. With a fatha. Fil matbaqi in the kitchen. عائشة تبيبة مبتدا خبر و this is a new sentence أخت ها talking about feminine ممرضة خبر this is nurse خارجة جملة فعل فعل محمد فعل مرفو كيس فعل plus فعل من الفصل and wa, this is another new jumla failure. Kharaja fail. Ma'ahu means where is the file? File is hidden in kharaja. When you don't find any name like this, know that the file is hidden in the fail. So file, Damir Mustatirun. Ma'ahu harf jar. When Damir comes with harf jar, know that the Damir in which position is majru. خرج معه زميلي معه زميلي Now what type of jumla is this? ما It's حرف جر Now it is preceding So this is شبو جملة So what is the rule for شبو جملة خبر Early Early خبر And زمي معه What will be the Haraka on Lam. Mahu with him is his friend. Zami. What will be the haraka here? We have a muqtada muakhar. Late muqtada. So muqtada always have a dhamma. Right? Mahu zamiluhu. Okay? This is how you will dissect the sentences. Know the positions what type of jumla is this and if this ma is coming before after that is noun what harakas what type of jumla it is you need to check all these things and put the harakas so let's go on to the next question uh, question number three hati hati is a command actually it means give 
it is a command word it doesn't have any past tense or it doesn't have any present tense it's just the command this is one form hati means give khamsa as as ilati as khamsa as ilata wa ajwibata means question and answers this is plural ajwiba comes from jawab jawab and asila is also plural comes from sual sual okay sual means question kal misal like the examples al ati the coming examples a in the qalamun naam in the qalamun another question uh, you might want to make a in the qalamun so we will make a in the haqibatun you will say naam in the haqibatun a in the daftarun naam in the daftarun a in the thawbun means dress naam in the thawbun so that's how we will make the answers hati khamsata as'ilata wa ajwibata all these you need to make five question and answers kal misal al ati a in the qalamun la ma in the qalamun so this we will make positive and this here we will make negative using adatul manfi this is adatul manfi when you want to negate in present you will use la no ma i don't have a pen ma indi this is a uh, adatul manfi also indi hmm khabar early right and mubtada muakhir see the damma right indi qalamun ma indi qalamun i don't have a pen so a indak daftarun la ma indi daftarun a in the thawbun la ma indi thawbun a in the uh, in the in the remember this is in the so we cannot use any human beings we will all use only ghayr aqils um a in the haqibatun la ma indi haqibatun so and now we move on to question number 5 in this question uh, we will learn to use the uh, four dhamirs specially and one is from the mutakallim the ya means my and one is from the mukhatib the second person and this is the first person mutakallim this is from the second person mutakallim mutakallim uh, don't mind my handwriting please and baituhu this is from the third person ghair okay means his and this is for male and this is for her ghair third person okay so for the mirrors we are going to use with the nouns as i have told you any noun plus the dhamir either it can be ya it can be ka or it can be who or it can be ha know that whenever these dhamirs are attached with noun the noun falls under idafa construction so the haraka of this noun may change but the dhamirs are mabni they will not change their harakas and these dhamirs fall in mudaf ilai position Now, adif, adif means add. Add. It is a command. Asma, asma al atiyata ilal mutakallim mukhatib ghaibin ghaiba kama huwa muwaddeh. Muwaddeh means clear. Clear fil misal. As it is clearly given in the examples. Qalamu, hadha qalami, hadha qalamuka. Attached with the mirrors, ha the kalamuhu and ha the kalamuha. And know that whenever 
a damir is attached with the noun know that that noun becomes marifa so that's why this haza is coming with the noun know that this is one word one compound word because this noun has become marifa as soon as it is attached with the damirs so kitabun you will say haza uh, kitabi now uh, this kitabi haza kitabuka haza kitabuhu haza kitabuha Hada sariru now hada sariri. How will you write? Hada sariri. Since this is a non connector, so ya will be written separately. Sariri and sariruka. So every time you will write separately. Hada sariruka separately. Ismu haza ismi and haza ismu ka haza ismu hu haza ismu ha mindilun haza mindi mindilu sorry mindu mindili it's mindili with a ya mindili with a ya Haza mindiluka, haza mindiluhu, haza mindiluha. Uh, only with the ya it will take a kasra, but others it will remain with dhamma, just like in the example. The dhamma will be maintained. Because of yamatakalyam, it is forced to take a kasra, but it has a dhamma in all uh, in all the dhamirs, you can say. Now, it's the same with all the uh, nouns here. Haza ibni. How will you write ibni? Haza ibni. Now, due to this yamatakalim, it will take a kasra. But haza ibnuka. And in all cases, the Dhamma will be maintained. Hada ibnuhu, hada ibnuha. Hada sayyarati. Now, when the female uh, noun comes, what happens? Hadi he. The Ismalishara changes. And then sayya. Sayyara. The ta marbuta will open, becomes a normal ta and will attach with ya sayyarati. And it will take a kasra due to this ya. Hadhi sayyaratuka. How will you write? Hadhi he sayyaratuka. Sayyaratuhu, Sayyaratuha. Hada miftahun. So it will be Hada mif, uh, miftahi. Miftahi. Hada miftahi. Hada, hada miftahuka. Mif. And miftahuha. Hu ha. Yad. Now this is a body part and it is feminine because it is in pairs. So ha the he. Yadi. Ya and D. It's a non connector. You will write the yad uh, separately. Ha the he. Ya Yaduka separately Yaduhu Yaduhu and Yaduha all separately written. And now we will move forward to the next question quickly. Ikra. Now in this exercise you will see 
when a human being is referred you will use li laka lahu and laha li ukhtun i have a sister one sister ukhtun wahidun wahidatun alaka akhun do you have a brother la ma li akhun ukhti laha tiflun when human beings are referred you will use lam harf jar laha tiflun sahirun zamili my friend lahu akhun wa ukhtun my friend has a brother and a sister my sister has a small child And نقول in the kitab نقول لي أخون لا نقول in the أخون means uh, here it said that when you use in the you should use in the with hierarchical objects and you should use لي for human beings and you shouldn't use in the أخون as I have explained before so now you will learn about ما حرف جر in the next question ma kharaja hamidun kharaja hamidun it's a file fail and file ma khalidin so when ma comes gives kasra to the noun in this case it's an arabic name that's why it's having a kasra thing zahaba talibu file fail مع المحندسي حرف جر and this is مهندس جلس المدرس في فعل مع المدير giving a كسرة من معك who is with you who is with you so this is حرف جر and this دمير is in is مجرور position يا علي you single the mark Ma'i. Now this is a shibu jumla. Uh, early khabar. Yes, early khabar. And zamili. Now due to this ya mutakallim, it is having a forcible kasra here. Forcibly it is taking a kasra. But originally it has a dhamma since it's our muqtada. Late muqtada. So in Arab you will say zamili. Zamil. Uh, you will say. Marfoon walamatu raf adamatu al muqaddar assumed. Okay. Aminatu maaha. Since uh, this is the mir is built mabni on fatha, it will not change its haraka. But this the mir is in is majroor position. Why? Because of the hafja. Zawjuha. Now this is muqtada. This sentence is our shibu jumla of harf jar and this is our late muqtada. That's why it is having a dhamma. Zawjuha. Okay. Kharaja. Uh, it's the fail. Uh, fail. Abi file. It should have a dhamma but due to this mutakallim it's forcibly having a kasra. Abi min al bayti. Man kharaja ma'ahu, who exited or left with him? Kharaja ma'ahu ammi, uncle, my uncle. So basically here you are learning how when mutakallim is added, it is forcing the last, uh, the previous letter to take a kasra. This is the only rule you are learning with the attaching ya mutakallim. So let's move on to the next question here. Question number 8. Baitun. What difference are you seeing here? Baitun. Baituka. Baituhu. Baituha. Baiti. What difference are you seeing here? In all these cases, the Dhamma is protected. Here, nothing is attached. So you can see a Nakira now with Tanween Dhamma. Soon as the Dhamir is attached, it has a single haraka. Why? Because this noun has become definite as soon as the damir is attached, as I have explained previously. And same with this, with the damir who, with the damir ha, the haraka has not changed from dhamma. It remains the same. But what happens when ya mutakallim is added? 
it changes to kasra as i told you this ya forcibly tells this letter previously to take a kasra but originally it has a dhamma as i have explained before you can see it's a nakira noun having a tanmin dhamma as soon as the dhamirs are attached what happens the tanmin is changed to single haraka but in this case it's from a small hamsa so what happens if, if it was in marfu case know that it will take a letter also with a dhamma wow and since the mir is attached it's in adafa construction as we have done it before all the rules for a small khamsa abuhu the dhamma marfu case is maintained wow the marfu case is maintained with the dhamirs what happens with the yamutakallim it is in marfu but forcibly it is taking a kasra when you will do the arab you will say ab is in mubtada marfoon wa alamatu rafahi adhammatu al muqaddaratu akhun the wow is maintained since it's in adafa with the meer so here it is forcibly taking a kasra same in this case as i have explained before so let's see the examples with this rule abi wa ummi fil bayti so what do you see what should be the haraka here the haraka visibly you are seeing a kasra because of the ya mutakallim but since we know that a sentence is a jumla ismiya it is our mubtada and mubtada always has a haraka dhamma so in this case both of them have a dhamma muqaddara you will say mubtada marfoon wa alamatu rafi'i ad-dhammatu al-muqaddaratu now wow has come so the matuf will have the same haraka as the noun before the harf at fil bayti kasra due to harf jar ayna abuka a small khamsa in idafa that's why wow is here ya hamidu ya harf nida rule of harf nida one haraka since this is an Arabic name, after harf nida, it will only have one haraka. Dhahaba ila suqi. Now, due to harf jar, it will have a single haraka. But what about dhahaba is a fail. Where is our file? It's hidden. When you don't find a noun or a name, know that it's hidden. So, what will you say? Uh, it's a fail. Madi file damir mustatir. Taghdiruhu huwa. Taghdiruhu huwa, you know, remember in uh, fail madi, huwa and here, two cases we have the mean mustatir, so it is from huwa. A akhuka tabibun, it's an interrogative question. Is your brother a doctor? La huwa mudarrisun. So it's a negation, huwa mudarrisun. Muqtada khabar. Zainabu fil Riyadi means the uh, the city name Riyadh. She is in Riyadh. Akhuha means um, her brother is in Taif. Taif is the name of a place in Saudi. Wa Abuhu Abuha. Sorry. If this is in Marfu, know that after the Waw Atf, this will also be in Marfu. Abuha fil Madinati Munawarati. Munawara is a sifa for Madina. Munawara means lightened. Hazat Talibu. You know, it's with Ismailishara Marifa. This is one word. This is our Mubtada. Abu Wazirun. Hazat Talibu. Abu Wazirun. This is our Khabar. And uh, let me just explain the sentence first. Abuhu wazirun and wa akhuhu tajirun kabirun. Now, this is Mubtada. After Mubtada, we know we have a khabar. 
so this whole sentence is another jumla ismi and as i have uh, told you a jumla khabar uh, can come as a shibu jumla as a jumla ismi or a jumla failure so in this case our khabar is in what jumla ismi so this is another jumla abu mubtada wazirun khabar wa at now another after wow atf is another jumla and it is also in marfu case muqtada khabar and sifa so this whole jumla is coming as our khabar for this muqtada so this is our khabar jumla ismiya Now, Zahaba Akhi Ilal Madrasati. Zahaba is our jumla failure. Fail. Akhi, we have a noun, so it's fail. It should have a dhamma due to Yamutakalim. It is forcibly taking a kasra. Ilal Madrasati. Harf jar is madrur. Wa. Now, Atf has come. Know that another jumla failure will come. Here also fail. Where is fail? file here we have a noun ilal harf jar same the same structure will follow after wow jumla failure jumla failure in question number nine muhammadun khalidun hamidun abbasun mahmudun these are all arabic names and they have a tanween dhamma right all of them have a tanween and now here you see these names are also uh, comes in Arabic but they are uh, not an Arabic name they are foreign names how do the Arab Arabs differentiate between an Arabic name and foreign names Ajami foreign means Ajami in Arabic how do they differentiate between the Tanween and the single Harak this shows that these names are not an Arabic name they are all foreign names so Hamza to Talhatu, Usamatu, Muaviyatu, Ikrimatu. These are all male names, but they are having a Tamar Buddha at the end, and they are all exceptionals in Arabic. Some male names may come with Tamar Buddha. Tamar Buddha. So they are the examples for the exceptional names with Tamar Buddha. They are not feminine names. They are Arabic. Uh, I mean, they are Ajami names having a tamar buddha at the end ikra al asma al atiya wat bit awakhiriha means you have to read all these they are without the harakas wat bit means you have to put the harakas awakhir means at the last letter of the noun so there is nothing here so this random noun is coming in marfu case khalid you know that khalid is an arabic name hamza having a single haraka as we know it is from Ajam. Ammarun. Ammarun is from Arabic names. Anasun. Arabic name. Mu'aviyatu. Now, the moment you see a Tamar Buta, no, it is uh, Ajam. Hamidun. Arabic. Usamatu. Single haraka. Iqrimatu. Single haraka. Abbasun. Arabic name. Double haraka. Muhammadun. Talhatu. Single haraka. And now we come to the last question or the Kalimatul Jadid, new words used in this lesson. Zameel is friend. Zawj, husband. Zawj means couple actually. So couple means husband or wife. But for wife you will be using as Tamar, the Zawja. Wahidun, one. Fata young boy a ma harf jar with means with tifl is a child male child actually male child what is for female child tifla with the tamar buddha al kuwait is the city uh, country name kuwait is the city name since it with the marifa it's having a single haraka so that's the end of the lesson and inshallah I'll be back with another video for the
new lesson number 11. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.